power. Never giving credit where it's due because you don't like pussy in power. Women. <laughs> Women. Stop being horny. He's a seven, but he's rich. What's his new rating? A ten. Louder? A ten, because he might have a good personality, and then he can also do, you know, we can do good experiences together. Yeah, I mean, rich is a bonus, but if his personality sucks, then he could just drop down to a five. Ten. Why a ten? It's self-explanatory. Explain it. I don't get it. Well, he can buy me stuff, pay rent, pay bills. I don't know. I, I look at, like, looks and personality, not money. So, <laughs> seven to me. It really depends, like how rich, a eh? okay, like so, really rich. Okay, so like really rich. All right, well, if we're going to Greece, then yeah, you're at least a nine. <laughs> if you like are an absolute asshole, like, and you don't treat me well, I don't care how rich you are. When you are rich, all of a sudden the women are open to the possibilities. Years ago, you and the defendant moved in together, and you bought a television set, and you split the cost of the television set that you bought two years ago. How much did you put in? Three hundred dollars. And you put in $300. Yes, ma'am. And then you split up. Now it's two years later. She kept the TV and you want your $300. Yes, ma'am. That was the, the terms that we agreed to when we, when we split up and split all our stuff. You mean she agreed to give you the $300? Yes, ma'am. Is that correct? Not necessarily. Well, what does that mean, not necessarily? Don't be stupid. If, if either you agreed to give him $300 or you didn't agree to give him the $300. Well, he said that he didn't necessarily need the $300 at the time when we were first. Could you look at me? Don't look at the floor. Yes, ma'am. When we were first going through the whole breakup situation, uh, he said that it wasn't necessary to give him $300, and I offered, and no, then no, no, I no. changed my I mind. I want you to tell me exactly how it happened. And don't fumfa. What does that mean? Don't waff your answer. I'm not waffing now, my answer. Now, now he says that you agreed when you were splitting up the property that you would keep the TV and you would give him $300. And your response to me was not necessarily. So now I want you to tell me exactly what happened. I offered to give him $300. What? No, tell me what you said to him. Well, I said he to said, him. do you want the TV or do you want me to take the TV? If I take the TV, you give me $300. <sighs> I want to know what was said, not I offered. Sorry, I'm trying to process, so I word this correctly now. You just um, word me the way it happened. I'm telling you the way it happened. I... He didn't... I'm sorry, one moment. I can tell you if you want me. I offered. I didn't agree to anything, and he accepted my offer to give him back now, his money after he said it's not necessary for you to give me the $300 when I was taking the what TV. What property did you keep that you would acquire together? That we acquired together, the only thing that he had helped pay for that I kept was the TV. Okay. And what did you take? Uh, I took nothing that we acquired together. Is that correct? Yes, but we only paid for the TV together. Well, where is the TV now? The TV is at my apartment. At your apartment? Well, somebody's got to get the TV and somebody has to pay their share. $100. Televisions depreciate. They don't stay the same. It's not worth the same now if she went, you see, if neither one of you wanted the TV, Mr. Glavin, mm -hmm. neither one of you wanted the TV, what the court would do is say, you find somebody to buy it and split 50-50 the proceeds. That sounds fair, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Because nobody's going to pay $600 for a television set that you bought two years ago and used for two years. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, do you want the TV? Yes, I do. Did you offer to give him the $300, and did he accept that offer? He didn't originally, and then he did? I did accept the offer. Originally? Originally, I accepted the offer. <clears throat> originally, she said she was the one that made the original offer of $300. I told her I don't necessarily need the money, but I will accept the offer, and that was the final terms. Okay, fine. Now, you want to go into this telephone? Yes, ma'am. When we were still living together at my parents' house before she had moved out, she had taken my phone. On what date? On what day? What uh, date? I don't know an exact date. Very late October. Did you subsequently live together after that? No. Okay. So late October, she left. Late and... October. And she saw a text from one of my friends from Orlando, and it made her very mad. Uh, and she took the phone, and she uh, pressed it against the uh, side of a dresser for leverage and snapped it in half. 
and after that uh, I paid the insurance cost, which was $150. Tell me your version of the phone. We did live together after I broke the phone because we were still together. We were living at his parents' house at the time because we were in between leases. We were waiting for our next lease to start after our last lease had ended. This was after our lease had ended? Shh, shh, yeah. Shh, shh. And, uh, I was sitting next to him on the bed one night, or it was, it was about the middle of the day, and he was talking to someone, and I asked who he was talking to, and I saw it was some girl from Orlando, and I asked to see the messages, and he said no, so I took the phone, and it was a message, it was a conversation in regards to him cheating on me, and it made me very angry because he... So you broke the phone? Yes. Okay. I mean... Good. $450. $300 was an agreed upon arrangement between the two of you for the TVs, which I'm not going to get involved with since you agreed to it, and $150 for the insurance for the phone. Maybe. When I cannot believe I'm watching court case about a TV. A court case for a TV filmed for live TV inside a TV for a TV. Man that makes $90,000 a year or a sugar daddy gives you $20,000 a month? Pick one. Oh, a sugar daddy. Okay. What about you? I do sugar daddy. Damn. Okay. Wait, can you repeat the question? I Sugar Daddy that gives you $20,000 a month or a husband that makes $90,000 a year? A husband? It depends on, like, how old you are. So, like, in my 20s, definitely the Sugar Daddy. But once I hit 30s, like, I need a husband. <laughs> uh, well, right now, then. Right now, at this point in your life. Sugar Daddy. You'll take the Sugar... Oh, shit. Okay. What about you? Me, too. The Sugar Daddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. What about you? The Sugar Daddy 20K <laughs> a month? Definitely Sugar Daddy. The Sugar Daddy 20K yeah. per month. Okay. What about Sugar you? Daddy. Okay. Sugar Daddy. Yeah, okay. I'm taking that 20. Wow. <laughs> Reason why men don't take girl who wants short-term rewards seriously. Is it disrespectful if your boyfriend likes other girls' bikini pictures? Yeah, of course. Yeah? Yeah. Disrespectful? Yeah. Totally disrespectful. Okay. Do you post bikini pictures? Oh, yeah, of course. Is, is that not disrespectful to him? Wait, no. Why no. is it? Why no. not? No, 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 why? it's not. Why? <laughs> I'm honestly shocked that the boyfriend was just stood there the entire video and didn't say anything, didn't leave, wasn't pissed. He just stood there and took it. It kind of shows the relationship that they're in. She just does whatever she wants, but he has to bow down to her rule set, and that's some simp behavior. We cannot promote this, and we cannot advocate for this. It's one rule for her and one rule for him, and if that's the relationship you want to be in, hey... Go for it, but don't go complaining when you're 50 years old, divorced, sitting in a studio apartment with a futon, because that's what's going to happen to you. Remember guy, looks are cheap these days. You can find a pretty face anywhere low. Don't settle until you find a good one. And is arrested for allegedly hiring a hitman to kill her ex-husband. He was ambushed and shot nine times, but incredibly, he's still alive. Nine shots in me. I had, I think, 12 uh, entry and exit wounds. Baron Lee was in a bitter custody battle with his ex-wife over their son. I could deal with a bad wife, but I couldn't deal with a bad mother. Did you think this was a random attack, or did you think it was something else? Absolutely not. I mean, from the get-go, I, I just was wondering who was that that my wife had sent to sh kill me. What do you want to say to her? Honestly, I hope she rots in jail for the rest of her life. Skill issue for the hitman. Yet be careful who you settle with, who know maybe they hire a hitman to kill you. Babies kept passing away around this nurse. When investigators took a closer look, they were shocked by what they found. Lucy Lepti is a 32-year-old nurse who is currently on trial for taking the lives of seven babies. She's also been accused of harming a further 10. It is alleged that she did this between the years 2015 to 16. It all started when her mentor at Chester Hospital started noticing a disturbing pattern every time Lucy was left on shift. Babies under her care would mysteriously fall sick and pass away. This would include stable babies that had no signs for concern. Now the number of babies that were passing away was very unusual for the hospital, and so they investigated. That's when they started accusing Lucy of injecting air into babies' bloodstreams. This is what would cause them to fall ill very quickly. Now, Lucy has not been found guilty yet. It's important to note that this trial is still underway. For more, remember to press the plus button and follow. Just why what kind of women does that? The fact that it took seven lives to figure it out, they should have suspected her after two lives. 
Have you ever cheated? Yes. Was it worth it? Yeah, it was. It was. Would you do it again? Yeah. <laughs> that is disgusting. What's happened? I fancied a chef in work. So she cheated on her boyfriend with a chef at work. If he finds out by this like video or whatever, it was on the staff night out. What happens happens. I cheated on you with a chef, Jack, okay? She won't be proud of it in the future when she is old. What a sad modern world we are living right now. This young man showed the world his girlfriend is cheating this, on IG Live today. Is this, is this my girlfriend? Like, what the fuck? I literally am about to expose her. Dude, what the fuck? Dude, that's my- She belongs to the streets! Like, it's like you jealous? Well, nigga, I'm not jealous. Yeah, because you, you mad because I drove in a road in Atlanta? No, but you know I know, bro, right? How you know him? That's the homie, that girl. This is the Goofy. Homie. That's the homie. Goofy. Like I said, that's not his car. What you mean it's not real? Like, what you mean? You said like, you it's me fake. Up? So you set me up? No, nah, you set yourself up, baby. How? You played yourself, shorty. How? You played you. I didn't play myself with nothing How? because I didn't do nothing. How? I didn't kiss so what's going to happen? I ain't about to What's going to happen? Do what's going to happen when the camera shut off, he hop in that bitch, drop it off, go home, and I go home, and your ass still standing at little old Starbucks? <laughs> huh? What Gorilla huh? said? Huh? Go find some old. Huh? Go find some old. Oh. Modern days women are just sad. It was never your girl, it was just her turn. Focus on yourself. When you find out Wait, your like wife is a well, nigga, I'm not jealous. Yeah, because you, you mad because I drove in a, I rode in a land truck? No, but you know I know, bro, right? How you know him? That's the homie, baby girl. This is Goofy. Goofy. That's the homie. Goofy. <laughs> huh? What gorilla huh? said? Huh? Go find some old. Huh? Go find some old. Oh. Oh, some first I bet. Done. I hear you. I know. Yeah. I know. I'm glad you do. I hope that worked too, though. Oh yeah, Kane, no, cause he don't want no. your goofy ass. I don't want him. The, you want the car? I know you wanted the car. You wanted what came with the car. You don't want him. You wanted the benefits that he had. But he ain't got shit for you, goofy. Well, maybe if he ain't got shit for you. Here, you want this? Right then. You want this? Bro, don't even play with me. You want this? Don't play with me, cause I really you want this? right now. Yeah, I hear you. Don't play with don't me. Don't walk up on me. Don't play with me. Don't walk up on me, bro. Huh? Yeah. You answered that question yourself. No. What I don't think you got loyalty over love, love tattooed right here. And you don't even believe by that shit. How I don't believe I believe my shit. How I don't believe I believe my shit. You listen to me, like listen down. to me. Bro. We really shouldn't even be truck. arguing. It's that my bed in the lamb truck. I should be proud of you that yes. you hopped in the car with another nigga. Of course. I'm proud of myself that I found out that you was a hoe. I hear you. I really stop be following me, bro. Me. Stop following me. No, it ain't no stop following stop, me. Hey, take this girl day, home, bro. At the end of the day, don't stop playing with me. Take her ass home. Take her ass home. At the end of the day, don't play with me. Take her ass home. Y'all chill out, y'all chill out, y'all chill out. That shit to argue about, man. Hey, let you see me in the car with another female. I don't give a fuck that bitch was a, a Honda Civic. You gonna have an issue. So I got a big issue. Get your goof ass out of here. All right, bro. This was just the car used to show you what it was or so I could see what it was with you. We up out of here. I'm going to go hop in my... Find you a way home. Not even a way home. Find you a way back to Louisiana. Man. You don't need that shit, bro. I appreciate you, bro. You do so much better, fam. Fuck, man. She's thirsty. Wow, bro. Like, y'all Like, y'all and she could tell, I could tell she wanted it, bro. She, all of a sudden, y'all had problems. Did you even have problems with her? Like, exactly. Before when, this? Right, when we were just talking earlier, it was all good, and she was yeah. 100. Now we got issues, and the relationship ain't working, and all of that, man. Energy changed when she got in the whip, brother. She's a gold digger. I mean, I ain't gonna leave you here, but if you want, like, a, if you want me to get you an Uber, I'll get you an Uber. No, what I want you to do is fix the relationship that you just broke. I didn't so, make you get in the car, though. Wait. Like, just to, y'all could have gave a girl a heads up or something. Like, come on now. Like, that's real fake. What a vibe busting in Korea.
nengoknya ke sana ih bandok udah kayak mau mau diapa kayak mau dipotong aja jangan bengkok gini nanti jatuh kayak gini bengkok jarumnya nengok sana like and subscribe